7 Things You Must Have Before Investing in the Stock Market Are you wondering if the stock market is the right investment for you? Do you have friends that talk about it a lot and you want to get into it too? Or do you already want to invest in stocks but you're scared if it's the right move for you? In this episode, you're going to learn the 7 things you must have in order to become a successful stock market investor. And this will tell you if you're ready for the stock market. Take note that this episode isn't going to be about the requirements and documents to create a stock market account. Because anyone can fill out the forms, deposit some money, and you know, they can invest in the stock market. But how to be a successful stock market investor? That's what this episode is all about. You see, investing is a high level skill in the game of wealth. This doesn't mean that investing is difficult to do. It simply means that you will have to develop a lot of other money skills before you start investing. And if you try investing without these more basic skills, then investing could be very difficult, unsustainable, or even impossible for you. So in this episode, we're going to zoom out from the stock market and look at the big picture of your path to wealth. So whether you're only starting or have been investing for a very long time already, this article can serve as your checklist if you can and are able to build a good foundation for your investments. With that said, let's get started. The first thing you need to have before investing is number one, the proper wealth mindset. Mindset is all about your personal beliefs when it comes to wealth. Do you think you deserve to be wealthy? Is money important enough for you to study it? Are you afraid of having too much money? People have many different beliefs about money, but the most relevant when it comes to stock market investing is this, the belief that becoming wealthy through investing takes time and a lot of patience. The stock market isn't a place where you can get rich quick and get rich easily. No, 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 no. The stock market is a slow but sure way to wealth. So investing in stocks for a year or for two years will not change your life. It is possible that you will see big results only on your 10th year or even your 20th year of investing. This is the proper investing mindset. Next, number two, have a good and stable source of income. We get a lot of emails saying, I want to invest but I don't have money or the money I have isn't enough. Well, here's the sad part. What can you invest if you don't have any income? Let's get real. If you don't have any income source or if you think your income is still too low, then your best move is to focus on increasing your income first instead of studying the stock market. Remember that investing can only multiply what you have. If you multiply zero with one million, you'll still get zero. So if you have zero income or very little income right now, work on ways to add to your wealth first. like getting a job even if it's part-time or learning new skills so you can get a better job or maybe starting a business. So it's a really bad move to invest in stocks if you don't have any stable source of income yet. It's an even more stupid move to borrow money to invest in stocks para lang masabi na investor ka na. So please don't do that. You need to have a steady source of income first before you start investing in stocks. Next, number three have a budget that you strictly follow. Sticking to your budget is a prerequisite if you want to start investing. Because if you don't know how to budget, well, you won't know how to save. And if you don't know how to save, it's impossible for you to invest. If you already have an income but nothing is left at the end of the month for investing, then the money skill you should start with is called budgeting. You can start by simply listing down all your expenses for the next 30 days. Malaki man or maliit, ilista mo siya. And this will be a good basis on the estimates of your expenses. From there, you will already gain some perspective on where your money is really going. Now, if you already have a budget but you're unable to follow it, then the trick is to divide the money in advance. Right from when you receive your salary. Yep, divide your money at the start, not at the end kung kailan ubus na yung pera, di ba? So, just from the start, allocate your money already. And even better, transfer the money to your different accounts. You can use jars, envelopes, where you physically divide the money. The important part is it's already subdivided prior to its use. Moving forward, number four, 
Know your limits to how much you give to friends, relatives, and charity. We Filipinos love to help others, but sometimes we have to limit how much to give to some people because they can be financial sinkholes. Meaning, no matter how much money you give to them, they will always, always, always need more help. So, the skill to learn here is being able to say no to people who want and ask for your money. Then, going to number five, have savings worth three to six times your monthly expenses. The only thing you can predict about life is that it's unpredictable. You can suddenly lose your job, you can get into an accident. Of course, we don't want these things to happen, but there's always a chance that it does happen. So having three to six months savings will serve as a fence that protects your investment portfolio. It acts as a financial buffer. So even if bad things happen, your investments can grow at peace and you won't need to touch it. Next, number six, know the risks you face and have the appropriate insurance coverage. Some events in life are just unbearable for anyone to save for. For events like getting critically ill, like having a heart attack or your house catching on fire or getting into a major car accident, for these things, having three to six months worth of savings isn't enough. You need to have the appropriate insurance coverage. Your healthcare insurance, your life insurance, your auto insurance, your home insurance, and so on and so forth. Insurance is another buffer for your investment portfolio. Now, if you're wondering, why do you need insurance before you can invest? Again, you don't really need insurance to get started, but if you want to truly grow your money, then protecting it is very important, and that's what insurance is. Now, let's go to the last, number seven. Know your personal financial goals and appropriate investments for those goals. We always say here in Pinoy Money Academy, there are no perfect investments. Even we won't say that the stock market is the best investment ever because that would just be wrong. There are only best investments according to your specific goals. Now, in the case of the stock market, it is perfect for your goals 10 years or more into the future. Usually, this is for your retirement or your children's college education or for a 40th wedding anniversary. You know, things that are going to happen 10 years from now or further from that. The stock market is the perfect place to grow your money over the long term. Anything shorter than 10 years, it's not good anymore. And for your goals that are coming up within the year or within 1-2 years, then the stock market is a horrible investment. This is what it means to choose investments that are aligned with your specific financial goals. So there you have it, the 7 things that will enable you to build a solid financial foundation for stock market investing. So how did you do? If you already have and know these seven things, then congratulations, you're perfectly fit to start investing in the stock market. Somewhere on this page where you're watching this video, you can see a link to one of our training seminars about stocks. However, if after watching this episode, you feel that you're lacking in one or more of these requirements, if you feel that you need to grow your income first or maybe you don't have the three to six months worth of savings yet, that's okay. Work on those first, whether that's your budgeting or improving your income or getting the appropriate insurance, it's okay even if you aren't able to invest today or even for the next three years because you are still on the path to wealth. Rest assured that you're doing the right thing by building a solid financial foundation first. Rest assured that you're on the right path and that sometime in the future, you would reach your goals of having financial freedom and abundance. Hey there, J3 here. Did you enjoy this episode? If you did, well, there are two things you can do right now to continue your journey towards financial freedom and abundance. First is to subscribe here in the Pinoy Money Academy channel so that you'll get updates on our new episodes so I can send you free training videos on everything and anything about money. Second, if you want more focused training on how to invest in the stock market, you can download our free report called the Stock Market Jump Starter. It's where we answer the 35 most frequently asked questions by beginners about the stock market and more. This report is so easy to understand that even if you know nothing about stocks and investments, you'll understand this report clearly. It's certainly the fastest and easiest way to learn how to invest in stocks. You can download this report for free 
just by going to the following URL. It's PinoyMoneyAcademy.com slash SMJ. Again, that's PinoyMoneyAcademy.com slash SMJ. I look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Until then, always remember to work hard, work smart, and make your money work hard for you.